now ready to talk about Mobius inversion. Uh, to do this, we need a hypothesis on the partially ordered set P. So given a post set P, define the ideal generated by an element X. So let's say X is an element of P. Define it to be the set of all Y in P such that Y is less than or equal to X. And uh, assume that for all X, I X is finite. This will imply that P is um, locally finite as well because after all, uh, if we take an interval X comma Y, it is contained in I Y. And once you have this condition, you can define a module, a right module for the incidence algebra AP. Now, if you're not sure what a right module is, don't worry, I'm going to explain now. So let MP be the set of all functions xi from p to the complex numbers. This is just a complex vector space um, and for f in ap and xi in mp define xi star f I'm using the, I'm recycling the symbol star, which I use for multiplication in the incidence algebra, also for uh, the action of an element of AP on an element of MP. And uh, it's it's a very similar kind of thing. Uh, it's, it's just defined as summation over all y less than or equal to x, f of y x, psi y. Okay, if you think of the incidence algebra as a matrix algebra, as I discussed in the previous lecture, then uh, you can think of this MP as uh, the vector space of row vectors. And this action is like the right multiplication uh, of a row vector by a matrix. And so just like that, uh, uh, the most basic property of this uh, action is that for any f g in a p and any psi in m p uh, it doesn't matter whether you first apply uh, f and then apply g or you first multiply f and g and then apply them to psi so psi star f star g is equal to psi star f Star G. This is an associativity property, but in uh, abstract algebra terms, what it says is that this makes MP a right AP module. And uh, it's very easy to check this. It's very similar to the proof of associativity of multiplication in the um, incidence algebra. So I'll leave it as an exercise. And now we can state uh, Mobius inversion which uh, is a formula, it's the equivalence of two, form, uh, two equations. So, so this is Mobius inversion. It states that uh, for two functions, maybe um, yeah, f and g in MP, so we need to assume, of course, that P is a partially ordered set with uh, I X finite for every X in P. So it states that for F G in M P, uh, G of X is the sum over Y less than or equal to X, F of Y, if and only if, and this can be written as a way to recover F from G. F of X is equal to summation uh, y less than or equal to x mu of x y x f y. So these are the kind of formulas I showed you at the beginning of this course uh, for uh, various examples of post sets. 
And so let's uh, see how to prove this. Uh, the proof is uh, quite easy since we have uh, all the theory of incidence algebras in place. Uh, so what this equation on the left says is nothing but g is equal to f star zeta. Remember zeta was this uh, element of the incidence algebra which is 1 for all x less than or equal to y and 0 otherwise. But now remember that zeta has a multiplicative inverse which is mu. So let's apply that and this says that g star mu is equal to f. And this equation here is nothing but the right hand side. That's it. So the left hand side is equivalent to the right hand side.